healthy happy hour with my friends means a couple drinks, a few nibbles, and none of the guilt. Now my guests are on their way, but before they arrive, I have a few happy hour rules of thumb to share with you. For your happy hour, buy the same kind of wine. You want to be able to refill your guest glasses without asking questions or interrupting conversations. Pre-open all of your wine bottles before guests arrive. You want to drink in their hand the minute they walk in the door. Serve your food on simple plates. Let the food take center stage. And remember, you only need to make a few hors d'oeuvres to impress your guests. With the rest, fill in with foods and products from specialty food stores in the grocery store. Now, let's go inside and make my super simple, healthful Christina. My Christina recipe is so simple, you're not gonna believe it. First thing we do is slice the baguette horizontally. We want very thin slices, about a quarter of an inch thick. Drizzle it with olive oil and toast it at 300 degrees in the oven. We have the base of our crostini in the oven. Now our ingredients. The biggest ingredients are the butter beans, habas grandes. <laughs> we also have shallots and garlic. We have a little bit of rosemary and Italian flat leaf parsley, lemon juice, salt and pepper to taste, and for on top, Parmigiano Reggiano or Pecorino Romano, depending on how salty and how nutty you want the topping to be. Over medium heat, pour in four tablespoons olive oil, toss in your shallots and your garlic. When you smell it, you know it's time to pour in the beans. To really bring out the lovely flavor of these butter beans, we're going to re-add about four tablespoons of the reserved liquid. My prettiest beans I'm taking out right now because they're gonna be crowning our crostini. They are the decoration on top. Now, the easy part, pureeing our beans. Start pulsing and then we're gonna pour in olive oil to emulsify it to make it more liquidy and to make it more smooth. Mmm, perfect. The finishing touch of our crostini are our whole butter beans that we're gonna toss with rosemary, Italian flat leaf parsley, a touch of lemon juice, very simple, very springy, light. Now we have everything we need and it's a snap to assemble. Take one of your crostini, about a teaspoon of puree, a sprinkling of Parmesan, and to nestle on top, our butter bean. For our low carb friends that'll be joining us tonight, we're gonna put aside the crostini and we're gonna use endive leaves. And now you assemble it the exact same way. For the endive, we're gonna use Pecorino Romano, a lovely Italian, very salty cheese. And I know my guests are gonna love them. Oh, speaking of which, here they are now. Let's go get them and let's get the fun started. After a long day at work, there's nothing better than a few plates of healthful food, a great group of friends, and a glass of delicious wine. And for my final rule of thumb, don't worry about the one-to-one -one guy girl ratio. Look at Aaron here. I think he's plenty happy with how things are playing out. Plenty happy. <laughs>